Are you gonna get it stuck? Did the slew swallow you? Oh my god! <laughs> Spinning! Turn out! I don't think I was even planting there. <laughs> Did you get through it? Yeah. <laughs> you don't sound happy. Hello? Hello. <laughs> you sound so scared. Oh, I wasn't even planting, the bad part was. <laughs> Welcome back guys, welcome back. Dad's out land rolling. Brody's planting black turtle beans. And uh, I'm, me and Randy, we got all the ground work. So we're gonna go start checking on wet spots. So I'm gonna take this side by side out. Go we'll check a couple of the corn fields that we kind of started on. See if the wet spots in those fields are good enough to go start hitting, drying them out. Get some fertilizer on them maybe. I got a little list that I need to go check on. And then we'll see. We missed the rain last night, unfortunately. We, we need some. It's getting to be kind of like to the point where concerning. We're not dry, we're not like drought yet, but we would really like some to get our uh, triple flex or our pre's activated because the weeds, we were just walking out in the field around the farm. There's some weeds already starting that the pre should have already taken out, but it's not working because we haven't gotten rain. And there's no rain in the forecast, so that's also concerning. So the list of fields are right here. We got some bean fields, corn fields. I gotta go check out and see what I find. We're approaching our first, first wet spot. Holy cow, look at this. Would you look at this? Little beans are coming up. That is so satisfying. You expect them to come up, but you're also excited when they do come up. Yeah, awesome. Well, this is also concerning news because this is a stage you don't want to drive on a bean at. These little guys here will uh, break off and kill them when they're about like that big. Then you can drive on them and then they come back. But if you break their head off, it's a done deal. Got some nice, you can see how wet this was when we planted it. Nice open V. Yeah, that'll do. Here's the case of why also a rain would be nice. So the open V syndrome is, is what it is. But right here, see this right there? There's a bean. He's just laying in dry dirt. So if you get a rain or a, a decent rain, it'll wash dirt in on there. And then it'll take off growing. Obviously this is just along this. This is what I'm coming to check on. Spots like this where there's, we had to go around it. This ditch was so full that the tile line was actually working in reverse. It was backing up into the field, making it wet. That happens when the ditch here by the farm and the lake is full. It's kind of an every spring deal, but oh, I'm thinking this is probably gonna go. This is what you don't wanna see though. Water hemp. You see they they survived the winter and almost equally as bad. Thistles. This is what's gonna be difficult. I think, I don't know. We're, we might use the Salford 4200 for these little areas because they're so small getting a 65 foot digger in here. And then this little pie shape here, you, you wanna till this to kill the weeds and the thistles, but then your implement ain't gonna fit in this little pie. So then you either till up your beans you planted or you leave the weeds. It's a lose-lose situation. Ooh, ooh, she's, she's squashy right by the inlet. Oh yeah, here, let's take a look at this so that you know what I, what I mean. So a tile is like plumbing for a house, only it's for a field, plumbing for a field. It's supposed to obviously drain downhill and when 
the downhill side starts backing up. Right down in there where there's two toads. Two toads swimming, I should get them out of there, poor little guys. When the water's sitting in the tile, that means it's sitting full and backing up and that's why this is wet. It's hydrating it. Oh gosh. Go little toad, go. There you go, buddies. Don't go back in there, because that was gross. Ah, did my good deed for the day. Well, after evaluating this spot, probably could mud, mud it in, but we might just wait. Might just wait, nothing but good weather. No rain in the forecast, which is good and bad, but that's what it is. Here's another one, another little, I don't know, like 60 foot wide little spot. This is what we get to do now for the next few days or whenever stuff's ready is literally drive around and fill in spots like this. This one's also doing the same thing. That's not ideal. That's a big one, that's like a 10 inch and definitely full of water also. Okay, we're gonna put on the weight, wait a bit on these two. I'm just gonna, so that I remember, I'm gonna write on there, wait or go or one more day, two more days. This is just water table issue, so we're gonna just write wait. Things are moving right along. They're popping up quick. Here's a cornfield, one of our first ones. Look at these little guys. Yeah, coming along. This was planted a week after this field. Just it's because it's a little bit wetter down there. I just checked down there. Water table, no go. Absolute no go on that one. That was, I didn't even drive in it. Yeah, that looks, looks pretty good. I think I found some touch-up work here along the, the grove right here. I'll stop, show you. So you can see, grove was full of snow, weeping out down here, 120, maybe 200 feet down at that end, wrapped up around this corner and then along this edge. This is a 300 acre field. You're not gonna wait for this little patch to get ready when you can do 95% of the field. And this is the case on a lot of the farms where the wet spots are, were related to this issue. But that's just due to excessive snowfall this winter. I found one, I found one, we can touch this up. But Brody's gotta finish planting black turtle beans first. Oh, I see the dandelions are having a good year. Look at that. They weren't such a nuisance, they sure are pretty. Oh my, this is not good. This is bad. This is that grove site that we took out last summer, or one of them. Look at the weed pressure. It's lamb's quarter. We're gonna have to spray this before the rest of the field, like just do this two acres. That's not good, writing it down. Here's our land roller we're trying to sell. I guess that means we liked our demo. I don't know, we'll see. I might have a guy coming to look at it, but it's a bad time to try to sell a land roller when everyone's out planting. Are you gonna get it stuck? Did the slew swallow you? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Spinning! Turn out! I don't think I was even planting there. <laughs> Did you get through it? Yeah. <laughs> you don't sound happy. Hello? Hello. <laughs> you sound so scared. Oh, I wasn't even planting, the bad part was, and it was, it was pushing mud. <laughs> so that was Brody, he's planting uh, them beans on that one field and there's just a soft spot that the digger operators bombed through and he's been, he said he had a nightmare last night because he knew this was coming to the wet spot. He had a nightmare that he was gonna bury it. So he called me, he's told me, well, I'm heading in, so be prepared to come with the rope. <sighs> he made it though. Hello, we're back. We're uh, planting some black turtle beans right now. Uh, we are over half done with what we're planting this year. We started yesterday morning and did a lot of rope travel yesterday. Three hours, 20 minutes or something crazy of just 
road travel. Felt like I spent more time on the road than I did planting. And it was a really exhausting day. And then I got to the field that I'm on now and almost completely buried the tractor and planter. Not just once, twice actually. You guys should have been with for that one, but uh, it was very exciting. I wasn't really a fan of it because it was, you know, that time of night where it was getting dark. And I, uh, yeah, I'm all after. Let's just say that. And I've been scared ever since then now. So now I think I know my limits now. I know the limits. When the tractor stops moving, you better try to get out. Because, uh, yeah, I was at a halt. I was maybe moving point four miles an hour and somehow it just hooked up again and crawled right out. It was pretty impressive actually. This year we are trying to shoot for that 110 to 112 population since we found out last year that the black beans, they like to kind of overseed it feels like. We found that out last year basically. Uh, we were doing like 120 last year and it was overseeding, way overseeding. Once you got out and dug it was, we actually ran out of seed and had to get more. So this year we backed it down to about 110. So we're probably putting out 100 and I don't know, 13, 14 at least I'm guessing. I don't know why, I just don't read it correct. But if anybody has any ideas, we got the east set meters. So I don't know. And Duggo, Duggo rolled in with the land roller. He's catching me, he's catching me. Hopefully we get some cool footage from the side over here. And he's on, he's gonna be on the other side of the ditch over there. Looks like Eric had some fun here. It's a three wheel floater and he was sideways. The one wheel was following the front wheel. <laughs> oh my. Well, I found one. This grove was weeping out down here, planted around it, is what it is. Looks like I found one. We got a, we got a half an acre here. Well, I don't really know how to say this guys, but it, it's gotten to the point where I, I have to uh, say something. Um, We've been having a lot of random drop-ins to the farm lately, and I, I understand that you guys want to see it and, and be here, but for liability reasons and just time and hired men, please don't just drop in. It just, uh, it, you're all great, nice people that have stopped in. I'm not picking on anybody. It's just, we are a fully functioning farm that I gotta stay working and not stand and talk. I'm sorry but I, I do have to please ask you to not come on to our property. Well, now that that's out of the way, once again, I'm sorry, I just had to drop that in here. Um, I, I'm not a jerk. I'm just rambling because I'm nervous. I don't know, I don't like having to do this. What have I created? All right, remember when I blew up the tire on our Hay Buster Rock Picker? It's, it's become the time where we have a 15 acre field that we had, it was also wet. Randy's gonna go mud around in it, dry it out. I gotta get my wheel on my rock picker because it's got a lot, it's that same field, it's just a old pasture area. It's got a lot of rocks, so we're gonna get, get her tuned up, get a tire on, and hopefully this afternoon we can 
pick a little rock. All right, before I go fix the tire, Brody needs seed tender moved, and he's actually low on def. Diesel exhaust fluid. So I'm gonna bring him five gallons in a funnel. Hopefully that'll get enough in him to get him home back to the yard. And then the next issue will be his diesel fuel, but he's got quite a bit done there. I think he'll make it. It's actually pretty exciting that uh, we're both done planting finally. Um, I felt like this year went pretty smooth. Um, field conditions weren't terrible. Just around the roads and random spots where the snow sat and weeping out was the problem. Which we have to go back and replant, fill in at least when they dry up. So who knows when that'll be. There's, there's, there's actually still snow in the groves. It's unbelievable in spots. The one farm I was by, there was still a three foot drift in the grove. It was like unreal and it was 80 degrees outside and there's still snow. Should have went and built a snowman or something. Yeah, I got one more field of black beans after this. And then I suppose we get to clean the planter out again switch over to soybeans and wait for some more bean ground to be ready. We don't have too many acres left of beans, some fill-in spots, one field that usually is always really, really wet and usually never gets planted, I guess. That's actually the field that both got stuck with the sprayer last year on. Grim brought me down to the seed tender with my two jugs of def. Load Brody up, then the seed tender's gonna be empty, so I gotta put different variety of Here's what they look like, the black turtle beans. Now they got treatment on, but they don't seed the best. The rate's always bouncing and fluctuating because they're not round. And there's no good seed disc besides a soybean disc and you just kind of send it home. Not look back. He's putting DEF on right now with two and a half gallon jugs. You gonna get her stuck? I got you 6,000 pounds on there. I got the wet stuff done, I think. <laughs> I All think. right, I'll get you more seed when you get to the next field. Send it, plan it out. I just threw my steak wrap in the hot logic. If you guys don't have one of them, I suggest one. Remember, remember a lifesaver. You get a hot meal, plug it in, and she cooks. She cooks it for you. It takes about a half hour or so, or 45 minutes, and she'll be warm. I can't wait to eat the steak. Oh, well, it's been a long time. It's all yours, Duggo. It's all yours. I'm out of here. I'm back. I'm back for you, buddy. I didn't forget you, fortunately. So we're just gonna use the tractor to lift it up and put the tire on rather than that jack that pushed in the ground. Holy cow, that's heavy. Wow. Mission complete, hook her up, and then I'm afraid I'm gonna have to operate the beast again. Oh, I get laughed because it's so frustrating when it don't work. Well, we'll soon have the antique back in action. My wheel is on, hoses are on, no blown ones yet, hopefully never. Let's go pick some rock. They're yielding really, really good. What? They're really coming in. Pick and clean. Oh, she's working like a dream. Working like a dream. We need a high speed one of these. This is so slow, you gotta go 2.2 miles an hour, which is actually maybe still too fast. If you go too fast, they dump out of that wheel too far, and then they'll actually start coming around. Man, I'm gonna take long to fill up my little bucket. The basket on this thing should be three times the size. 
Well, I've been at it for, I don't know, I suppose an hour, hour and a half, making some progress. There's a lot here, as you can see. Uh, but I have to go load seed for Brody. I gotta load some on the tender. Randy's gonna come and try to operate this thing, so I'm gonna train him in on it and take his pickup back to the farm to keep Brody moving. He's done with that field and it's in need for more seeds. And the basket's almost full again. All right, so what we're gonna be doing, these are last year's leftover uh, black turtle beans that we had too many of. So we're gonna plant those out now, close to home, because they are a different variety. Might need to, uh, a little bit more attention to that field, being different varieties, might need to be sprayed at different times, so we didn't want it to be, you know, 15 miles away from the farm. So, I literally don't have very many. It's gonna be a major inconvenience, but you don't wanna waste cost and seed and all that. We gotta use it up. So, if I could figure out this knot system here, we could dump these. And then I have to load a different variety onto the back hopper to finish the season. Which then we'll have too many beans and then we'll be putting them back in a bean bag for next year. Waste of time is what this is. There's hardly any in there. Well, that was 2,100 pounds. So I think there's like 3,000 pounds in that. And this is just a fabric bag. I don't understand how those straps work to hold that. It looks like it would rip. I'm always very, very gentle with those because it would be a lot of expense if it ripped the bag open. And it is, I mean, tight. Crazy. I hate bags. Did I mention that? I hate the bags. The boxes are so much nicer. Maybe we should talk a little seed tender here. This is our Seed Runner 5000. I don't think they make this model anymore. I think it's called a 4955, I believe, which is just a different hopper here. I don't think this is made anymore. It's nice because you can slide this under semi hoppers, but it's not so nice for the folding it in. Difference between this one and the one that's on our uh, corn trailer, the demo one, Obviously it's bigger and the conveyor is like two times the size. So this is great for beans because you fill a lot and we don't put liquid on so you're not waiting for the liquid uh, pump to fill anyways. So you can literally fill the planter in like five minutes. So that is a feature I like about this one more than the other one. But the other one, it's joysticks way better. They simplified it a lot and I like that. This one's a little more complicated. Otherwise they're virtually twins besides the conveyor system and just the vast size of this one. But so far, I'm very glad for having that other seat tender on there so much better than that other one that has sat in the shed now on that trailer and not gotten used. All right, I just got done dropping beans at Brody. Hopefully it's the last load. We loaded them kind of tight and with how irregular that they seed at, it should be fine. It should be fine. Let's hope so because I don't want to run out there to give them like 100 pounds per hopper, but if I have to, I have to. But I get to go rolling. Dad's been running this all day or most of the day. Caught up behind Brody. Might as well finish the field he's in tonight. It feels like a Friday because we're finishing projects, but it's not. I wish it was, because then that would mean we don't have any more dry fields. We're really tired. It'd mean we'd get the weekend off. But I'm sure we'll end up working. It is dusty and windy. We're losing some corn stalks. It's not ideal, but it's a job that's gotta get done for the beans. 
start growing, which is a couple of days. We try to get everything rolled within three days of planting. Unless there's rain, then you gotta be right on it. It is just terribly dusty. Like Randy said, when we're done planting, first you should be starting. Field conditions are actually like absolutely 100% perfect on these farms. Well, that's a wrap. Black beans done, rolling done. Yeah, productive day. Come along, my friend, come along. Now the challenge will be getting out of this sketchy approach. Ah, uh, I hate this approach. Then it's of course under a hill a little bit. Come on out there, snail trail. Come on. Woo! Okay, let's get some speed so we don't get run over. Alright, we've made it. Dad used to have a planter that folded like this and he thought he was going to tip it over there one time. I guess the one wheel was off the ground. Uh, Glad it was top heavy was that thing's problem. Alright, I think uh, that's going to be a wrap on this video. I think we're taking off early tonight because we don't have any more ground really to do. I think Dad's going to plant that 15 acre field that was rock picking in tomorrow and then the waiting game. So thanks for watching. If you watched every video through the spring, I appreciate it very much and uh, hope you enjoyed it. We will uh, see you in the next one. We're going to keep them coming.